chapter three, we're gonna talk about lip undertones. In doing lip tattoo, we can't really use the normal Fitzpatrick scale um, that we normally use for skin because the lip tissues um, is a lot different than the skin that you learned in the previous chapter. So therefore, in order to determine the lip undertones, it really depends on the ethnicity. There are two main groups when it comes to lips. So we have the natural lips and we have the dark melanin lips. The natural lips are basically Caucasian lips. Um, within this group, there are different um, undertones as well. The dark melanin lips are categorized into Asian or Southeast Asian lips, Black, um, African American lips. Each category will have their own undertone. So later on, we'll talk more about this and why understanding the undertone so important when it comes to doing lip blush because it helps you to determine the outcome of the color of the lips when you choose color. So when the client comes in and um, show you their desired um, color result, um, you have to understand not only the way to mix the colors, but you also need to understand the undertone of their natural lips. For example, for example, um, both you and I can have the same um, lipstick, right? But that one lipstick that goes on my lips versus your lips is going to be different, right? Or two people with like, the same, you know, um, uh, type of uh, lip undertone, right? But the but only slightly different undertone. They could have like the same lipstick, right? But on each of their lips, it's gonna look different. That's because of the undertone of the lips that turns the color differently based on like the perception of our eyes. Okay, so understanding the undertone is super important. Um, I have this undertone guidelines that um, I have in your manual. Um, if you're just taking the online um, class, you can print this out. If you're coming into the in-person um, class, then uh, you can have, you know, like a print out of this. Um, this is sort of like a guideline for you to help choosing the right colors uh, for, you know, your clients. You'll have different um, clients with different undertones that will come in to see you. So we have, you know, like number one type, and you can see that their lips is super pale. There is hardly any color on it um, and sort of like chalky because there are no colors. So you don't really see um, the borders, right? So um, this lip, as you can see, it's like really pale, no color. So any color that goes on this type of lip will for sure, you know, show a lot. Uh, number two is the natural type of undertone where there's a little bit of the pink tone, a little bit of border because of the, the pink undertone on the lips, okay, but still considered to be light. Three um, is like a reddish pink. So this is more pigmented than our number two, natural pink. Um, it appears to have like a reddish, rosy undertone. And because they have more undertone on their lips, so they seem to have, you know, a little bit more borders. Every now and then you're going to see this type of lips. Um, you know, like their borders get really like zigzaggy, like if they're about to lose their border, you know. So that also happens because, you know, like, they have borders, but the borders can be inconsistent. Uh, number four on fits one to three 
is um and fits one two three is like skin tone okay so skin tone fits one two three and this is like number four of like the lip okay um purplish pink it's again more pigmented than the natural pink but it appears to have a little bit of that, that purple in their pink tone as opposed to this one is like a reddish rosy tone this one is like a darker pink like a purplish like duller looking right they have some border you know but could be inconsistent so um for example, if we were to be given a um a lip color, right? And if you were to apply that lip color on this lip number three, it's going to show less than number one, right? Because number one, it's like so pale, okay? So that's going to help you with like choosing how intense you want the color to be. Okay, um, on people who already have pigments on their lips, what this means is that you need to increase the intensity of your color. So that way, when the color is healed, it, it's going to show on, on this, right? Because if you were to apply a really light color on this lip, it's not gonna show because it's already pigmented, okay? And we're talking about, next one, we're talking about Fitzpatrick for skin tone, which is Asian lip undertone. This is guideline for Asian lips, okay? Um, number five, moving on to number five lip scale. There's the natural tone, it has, like a pinky undertone but you can see compared to this of uh, Fitzpatrick one to three skin tone versus this this is like a lot darker right so obviously the darker the lips the more intense your color needs to be okay number six is like a peachy like you can see that this and this they're both kind of dark but the darkness is different this one is like a brownie peach undertone whereas like this one is like a, a a brownie pink sort of undertone number seven this is considered to be like a purple asian lips okay where you see like the the pink here but then they're like hyperpigmentation uneven hyperpigmentation on these spots and these spots right here they're purple okay um blue number eight is blue this lip has like a blue i know like you can't really see the color blue but when we're talking about like dark lips undertone our eyes don't see the blue. This is just a common term when it comes to uh, lips undertone, okay? Um, when we say blue undertone, it's actually kind of like, like a very dull, dark gray sort of color. When you're new, it's going to be really hard for you to determine whether it's you know if some if this is purple or blue because like if you're just looking at this dark part versus this dark part you're gonna be like oh they look the same you know but the more experience you have the more you're gonna be able to um you know, to determine whether this is like considered to be blue or purple, okay? Um, it's considered to be purple when you see the dark part is like, it has that pinkish to it. Whereas the blue, the dark part is like really gray, super dull looking. So let's take a look at Fitzpatrick five to six skin tone. Um, these are considered to be melanin dark lip undertone. Okay, again, <clears throat> fits five to six. They also have the natural sort of tone. Okay, and as you can see, the 
the natural has that pink undertone, but again, you still see that darkness in it, right? This is considered be, to be brown, okay? Where you see kind of like a peachy, but, but a more intense brownie peach versus this, right? And this is considered to be the purple undertone. And this is the blue undertone. Again, this does not look any blue, right? But we're just calling it blue um, in the lip term, lip undertone term. It's not actually like blue, blue, you know? <clears throat> so when you look at the purple, you can see that like it has the pink to it. Like if you're see if you're looking at like this part, right? Where it's like dark versus this part. Forget about like the inner, right? We're just consider we're just gonna look at the dark part. Okay. Do you see that this dark melanin part? It has a little bit of like purplish to it versus this is just like straight dark. Does that make sense? So why is this all important to like recognize when you're working with fits four all the way to fits six skin tone, Asian lips to um, African-American lips? Why is it so important for you to distinguish between purple and blue? or even brown, because this is going to help you with determining color, how we're going to neutralize this to this, or neutralizing this to this. Because some people, or you're gonna run into some clients that wish that their top lip matches with the bottom lips or bottom lips lip match with top lip, okay? You're going to run into some clients who wish that their their entire lips has this, this, this pink tone to it, okay? Um, you know, of course, people who are happy with the two-toned lips, they're never going to get lip blush. But you'll get... Um, Fitzpatrick five or six, or even Fitz, Fitzpatrick four, come in and want to make their lips look more even in terms of color, okay? So by knowing if their undertone is leaning towards purple or blue or brown is really important because we're gonna use that to choose the right color to neutralize that to a natural uh, pink shade, okay? So I will see you in the next chapter.